Hi folks, this is one for Manchester United fans. I'd love you to tell me who you would want down at our club. But Alright, the Mason Mount thing is dumb. I said about a week ago, I was 100% sure about him. I'm very blinkered. I tend to watch United and only United and don't realise how good he is. But from everything I'm reading, from all the pundits I'm listening to, it seems like we've got a good deal. For all some Liverpool fans on here last night were having a pop at me saying that we've overpaid both in transfer fee and wages. I do hope he's probably going to help anchor the midfield along with Casemiro, giving Bruno a free reign up top. For all I know, Mount can get forward and get goals as well. That, for me, gives us a better midfield. What you've had in the past in that midfield is you've had Fred in there, who, for all he tries real hard and does, I've said before on the channel, is a £50 million Brazilian who can't control the ball and can't pass the ball. McTomin is a little bit better in his control and passing, but not much. I think Mount would be a massive upgrade, so we keep the ball. To that end, I've got somebody else that I want to replace that just definitely can't control the ball and is an even worse passer than Fred. We'll get to him in a minute. So who do we want at United? Looks like they're putting in for this goalkeeper today. Is it Anana? I think it's Anana. Um, he looked something like a banana when he played in the uh, Champions League final, all dressed in yellow there. As I say, at times I thought he was another midfielder, he was so far up, but brilliant with the ball at his feet. I liked him. I didn't know a lot about him, as I say. I only tend to watch United, but I was impressed. I'm even more impressed to know that he's worked with Tenag in the past, and obviously Eric knows him and wants him, and I think it's a case of in Tenag we trust now. He's earned his stripes. I like him a lot. I think he's going to be a great asset to our club, old uh, Eric. Um, so Anana, yeah, get him on board. Kane, I want Harry Kane down here. I'm not. I'm not believing all this Bayern Munich. Kane wants to stay in England. He wants to take uh, Shearer's goals record. He definitely wants to stay in England. We need to get him at all costs. I know the protracted uh, sale of the club's uh, hampering things. But somebody somewhere needs to grasp the nettle, as Fergie would say, go in and get Kane. And the other one I want, and this is to replace the other person in our team, in our first starting eleven that just cannot control the ball and certainly cannot pass the ball. You know I want Juan Bissaka out. He's not good enough for me. One-on-one, -on -one, I know he's great. I know he's got pace. But as I've said in the past, his football brain is lacking. His football brain is lacking. His control of the ball is poor. His passing is horrendous. He offers nothing going forward. He can't head the ball. He's not a good header of the ball. He fails in many categories. There's one I want out there that we've been linked to for six months that I believe is still for sale and only for 30 odd million. Is it, what's his name? Jerome Frimpong. Is that his name? I think I've said it rightly. If I'm not, apologies. Came from Celtic. think he went to Bayer Leverkusen. His stats last year are frightening. Was it nine goals and 11 assists in one season? Nine goals and 11 assists. Juan Bissaka could stay here for another 10 years and he wouldn't get nine goals. Nine goals and 11 assists. He's only 22, 23 years of age. He's extremely fast. And they're on after about 33, 34 million for him. That for me is a steal. In football today, you have to be comfortable with the ball at your feet. De Gea isn't. Looks like he's going to be gone. Shaw isn't brilliant. I mean, for me, I'll have, I'd have Malassia in over Shaw. I know it, it didn't weren't brilliant on last year, Malassia, but I think there's a player there. I think there's a better footballer there. It might not be his preferred full-back side, I don't know, but I'd have Malassia in there. The two centre-backs, great with the ball at the feet, especially Martinez. You bring Frimpong in, great with the ball at his feet. Uh, great midfield with the ball, you know, now we've brought Mount in there. Everybody comes up on the ball. Mount, Fernandez, Casemiro. Put a top attacker up front and you've got a great team. I mean, who was I looking at? What was I looking at team-wise? Who did I look at? I did scroll something down before. Anana, goalkeeper. Frimpong and either Malachia or Shaw, full-backs. Martinez and Varane, centre-backs. Mount and Casemiro, anchoring the midfield. Bruno working in front of them. And then up front, Rashford, Kane. And the contentious one. He's not going to play next year. He might never play for us again, but... I'd have Greenwood there. I'd have Greenwood there before I'd have, I'd have Anthony there or anybody else. I'd have Greenwood there. Um, I know a lot's gone on. I know he's blot more than blotted his copybook. I know he's been trouble in the past with his timekeeper and everything else. But again, we've, we've discussed this before. But I think all that would change now. He's going to be under the microscope like never before. 
he's just going to get his head down and play football. He's going to have oh, he's going to have pelters thrown at him by by crowds and every football ground, including our own. In many respects, that just might help the team. You know, Eric might take the Fergie thing. They're all against us. Everybody wants us to lose. Let's rally around the flag. And it might make for a, a better team spirit. You know, crazy as it may seem. But I'd have him there. I mean, if he's playing in front of a proper fullback and this friend Pong is, who'll give him the ball early and give him the ball in good areas, totally unlike Juan Bissaka, he'd have a field day. And then if you don't get Kane, all this is it, Rasmus, whatever the boy's name is, I can't even remember it. He can play number nine. He's, what a finisher. What a finisher. He's obviously going to go on loan first. I don't think we're going to get rid, which is a good thing. He'll go on loan and maybe we'll get him back. So maybe that's one for down the line. But that said, if we can't bring a number nine in from anywhere, Greenwood's ideal. Because you don't want to put Rashford there. I know he's just got 30 goals and that's great. But if we're going to rely on Rashford's goals next year to get us again top four and to win his trophies, I just can't see it happening. Other teams around us are signing players, improving the squads and they're all going to be harder next year. We need to get some people in as well. And we need to put the right people in the right holes. Which is, as I say, why I'm not keen on Juan Bissaka. And why I'm not as keen on somebody like Anthony as I am as uh, Greenwood. And then, you know, what do you have on the bench? You've, you've got Anthony. You've got Garnacho, who's brilliant. I mean, if we don't bring Greenwood back, if Greenwood doesn't play, for me, somehow, I'm getting Rashford and Garnacho each on a wing, even though they both prefer the same left wing. I'm getting them both out there before Anthony because for me, they're both going to produce more goals wise and probably assist wise. Fred or McTominay on the bench, you'd get rid of one and maybe keep one as a midfielder unless they go for this. This is it, a Tunisian or is it a Moroccan boy? But again, they don't want to spend more money. You know, uh, Lindelof done a good job back in the last year, Dallo, um, and whichever a Malaysian and Shaw doesn't play. So you've got four or five good players there that can step into other people's shoes. But for me, Anana, if they do it, great. Kane, I'd love him. But I'd like this for him, Pongo. I would, honestly. I mean, massive upgrade on wan A massive upgrade for assists, for goals scored. But also just better with the ball at his feet. You want an attacking fullback behind whoever the winger may be. You want to give him some service. And they get none from wan -Bissaka. Anyway, your thoughts down below. What do you think? Am I right or am I wrong? Do we need players who can control the ball and pass the ball? I think we do. And I think we've fell short for the last couple of years. What with De Gea, with Juan Basaka, with Fred and or Matt Tamman, although Matt Tamman is not quite as bad, with Shaw to an extent. And then up front you've had Marshall regularly giving the ball away and others. Um, I, I'm just happy of getting Mount in there. I'm happy with people that can control and pass this ball. It counts for a lot. And hopefully the goalkeeper if they bring him in. Anyway, your thoughts down below. I've rambled on enough. 